President Trump announced on Twitter that he is canceling his scheduled trip to Denmark after the Danish prime minister said his idea of buying Greenland was, quote, absurd. Let's get reaction from Copenhagen. Joining us now is Rufus Gifford. He is the former U.S. ambassador to Denmark. Ambassador Gifford, thanks so much for being here. So the prime minister used the word absurd. You used the word sad. Thanks, what, what do you mean that this episode is sad? I think it's sad, honestly, because this is just not the way you treat an ally. Um, so if we look at what's happened over the course of, of this last week or so, um, or the last few weeks, he committed to come, and it's not just a bilateral d visit with the prime minister. This was a state dinner, uh, the first state dinner uh, that a sitting United States president has done in Denmark since Bill Clinton in 1997. Uh, it's a big deal here. Uh, it's a big deal here. And um, in essence, he made this visit, his, his visit, contingent on the, uh, the kingdom being willing to negotiate the sale of part of their territory. Now, this is a country, Denmark, that has fought and died alongside American soldiers. I had the great privilege, I, I had the great responsibility of going to the Danish government and requesting troops to go to Iraq, to Syria, and they went and they fought alongside our troops and they died alongside our troops. This is not the way you treat a loyal ally who is with, with centuries of, uh, of, of diplomatic relations. It's just a sad chapter to me. And, and just out of curiosity, what happens in Denmark when somebody cancels last minute, when a president cancels last minute like this? I mean, there were all sorts of plans and preparation and money spent, correct? Oh, sh oh, sure. Money, money spent. Both American money and Danish money. The, you know, the royal guards. You imagine. I mean, this is a monarchy. It's uh, uh, when you have a visiting head of state like the American president. Uh, there's months or weeks of preparation, uh, and uh, it's a big deal. Look, Denmark is not a big fan of Donald Trump. Uh, and his politics. I think that's obvious. But you know what? They are a big fan of the United States of America. And the fact that they had an American president visiting was a big deal for them. Um, and to cancel the trip in this way um, is just a shame. It's absolutely mm -hmm. a shame. And I think it's a, you know, it's, it's, it just speaks to, again, the way I think this president, that Donald Trump, um, the, the way he views these traditional alliances, and not just Denmark, it's NATO more broadly, uh, these alliances that have kept the West peaceful and prosperous uh, for so many decades. Um, there's a lot of speculation back here that this is just the art of distraction that this whole Denmark, the, the, off, the, the, uh, the desire to buy Greenland, that now the cancellation, that it's all just a big distraction. But do you believe that? And if so, what's it distracting from? That I that I don't know. I mean, look, I I I really don't know if it's a distraction or not. Or, or not. I, if it is, um, I don't necessarily think it reflects very well on the United States nor the Trump administration. Um, again, to me, this is not the way that you conduct foreign policy. Uh, foreign policy dip diplomacy amongst friends is about sitting across the table and maybe disagreeing on some things and hammering out those disagreements. And it is not. Uh, it is foreign policy by Twitter, it just is, it's again, um, I think it's a shame. It, not only it does it make the United States look bad, and it does, um, it's, it, it, it weakens some of these great and longstanding alliances that we've had. So is it a, a distraction? It absolutely is a distraction, but I certainly don't think it reflects well on the Trump administration. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's played particularly well for him. Ambassador Rufus Gifford, thank you very much for your perspective from Copenhagen for us. Thank you, Allison. Oh.